Football Manager 24 is finally here and I'll be starting our FM24 journey with Brighton. Roberto De Zerbi have done an amazing job in real life with this team, with them finishing 6th in the Premier League last season and qualifying for the first time ever in the club's history into the UEFA Europa League. Brighton have today confirmed the appointment of Malvin Singh as the club's new manager. Eyebrows has been raised in the world of football at the appointment of the inexperienced 31 years old. Oh. And he's sure to face plenty of questions when he faces the media for the first time at American Express Stadium. He replaces previous manager Roberto De Zerbi. Look at me with the eye patch. Do I look good with an eye patch? Should I be wearing an eye patch for this? All right, so I'm officially the manager of Brighton over here. All right, so when we look at this, you know, we have a reputation of a three and a half star. Okay, it is a three and a half star club, which is great. Our media prediction is going to be finishing eight in Premier League this season, but we are going to be looking for an European competition qualification again this season. All right, so the, te uh, the technical director is David Wire. We have an assistant manager, Andrea Maldera. How good is he? He's a very, very good, you know, uh, system manager. So I think I'll be, I'll be using him until the end of this series. All right, so when we look at the finances over here, right, we have really, really good transfer budget. 80 million of a transfer budget and a wage budget of 1.5 million per week. All right, so the club have enjoyed probably their best spell of success during the 2010s. Although now enduring a 12-year barren spell, having not won a competition since 2011, the Seagulls still have a history of which they can be justly proud. Brighton finished runner-ups in the FA Cup in 1983, finished runner-up in the English second tier in the 1979 and 2017 where they actually you know, got promoted to the Premier League, won the English third tier in 1940, 58, 2002 and 2011 and finished runner-up on five occasions and won the Community Shield in 1910. And I think this Community Shield, right, I, I, I think it used to be called uh, FA Charity Shield last time. And this is the only national, you know, competition, national trophy that they have in the whole club. All right, so they have not won a single, you know, uh, you, can, you can call it as a, you know, League Cup, FA Cup, Premier League or anything like that. All right, so that is going to be the first thing that we are going to be, you know, uh, focusing on in this series where we will try to win at least any competition, even it can be domestic or a European competition with this team. All right, so when we look at this screen here right now, according to the assistant manager, this is our best 11. Also, they do play with a formation of 4-2-3-1. I think Roberto De Zerbi, they he is playing with the same formation right now in real life. And... I'm going to be replicating his tactic in this series. All right, so we are going to follow exactly what he's been doing in the real life and let's see if we can replicate the same success that he has been having with this team. All right, so when we look at this, you know, uh, Jason Steele is actually their best goalkeeper and I think he's going to be one of the weakest link in the team and we will be looking to upgrade the goalkeeping position, to be honest. All right, so they do have, you know, a back four of Estupina, Luis Dang, Weltman and Tariq Lamte. All right, and we have a 37 years old James Milner and Dahoud playing for them in the midfield. All right, so Mituma, everyone know Mituma is really, really a great player. And in FM, I think he's going to be good as well. We are going to be looking at them together later on. All right, so we, we have Sony Marsh there, Danny Welbeck, and even Pascal Gross, you know, uh, in the team as our best 11 over here. All right, so the transfer obligation. I'm going to be playing with a, you know, a real world, you know, game mode. As you guys know, FM24, we are going to have three game modes where we can choose how we want to play. And I'm going to be playing with a real world. That's, that's the reason why Ansu Fati is not in the team yet as well. All right. So let's have a look at the board expectation for this season. So they would want us to finish in the top half finish. All right. They want us to be competitive in the FA Cup reach at least the knockout stages of the Europa, Europa League. I think that is going to be quite easy for us and be competitive in both domestic cup. That means in the Carabao Cup and in the FA Cup as well. All right, so in terms of the board culture, they love to sign players under the age of 22. Okay, develop players using the club youth system, which I think they are really doing really well in the real life as well. Okay, so additional actionable objective, not additional guys. Okay, reading is hard. Maintain the club's global uh, global reputation. We will be trying to, you know, uh, grow the club reputation as well during the series. Sign young players to develop for profit. That is what they are doing in the real life as well. Work within wage budget. 
All right. So I think when we look at it, there are five fails planned over here, right? They are only looking for us to finish in the top half. Okay, but they in the third season they want us to challenge for the Europa League. Okay, which is something that I think is going to be quite achievable with this team, you know, because they 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 do have really good youth players, you know, young players in this team. All right. Okay. So let's just confirm all of this and arrange a meeting. I think it's going to be every month. All right. So this is the first look. This is basically my first time looking at FM twenty four, you know, user interface, and it looks quite good to be honest, you know. And yeah, let's have a look at the supporters profile update if you look at this you know they want us to yeah finish in the top half as well and they want us to finish above crystal palace as you know you know crystal palace is actually their fierce rival of uh, brighton so i think it should be it should be done it should be you know achievable okay all right so i'm just gonna accept uh, what because we have already gone through the you know club expectation and everything so i'm just gonna accept it and let's have a look at the squad all right guys so when i saw the squad according to the potential we can actually see that we do have a lot of players you know young players with high potential and one of them is actually evan ferguson all right so in real life he has actually been doing quite good for brighton you know this season especially and i'll be looking to play him you know more often if you look at this you know he's only 18 years old in fm24 right now and if he is going to be as good as he was in fm23 i think we are going to have a lot of fun with him all right so look at his attribute you know for 18 years old right his attribute has been really really good and i'll be playing him as a pressing forward as well okay so yeah i think he this is going to be a no-brainer you know to start him and we do have Fukundo buanate and he looks even better you know 18 years old argentinian with lots of potential uh an amazing amazing attributes that he have and he can actually play as an inside forward on the right hand side and yeah i'm really looking forward you know because this team actually has a lot of good young players and we know that roberto does a right he loves to play with all these young players as you know you know in every game so yeah it's going to be really really exciting to see how we are can how we can actually bring this club you know to the next level all right so casino is still in the club as you know i'm playing with a real world you know uh game mode and as you guys know you know real world what what is the difference between the real world and the normal mode is actually that um, all the real world transfer that have actually happened will happen on the date that they actually happen in real life if you look at this you know kaisedo will be joining you know the transfer range he's going to be joining chelsea on the 14th of august so he's going to be with us you know throughout the preseason and all and yeah we are going to be able to enjoy him during the preseason but that's it you now on the 14th of august he will be joining chelsea and look at this even you know with the likes of you know sarmiento he's going to be joining West Brom on a loan deal on the 25th of July. So on the 25th of July, he's not going to be in the squad anymore. All right. And let's have a look at Enciko. En Enciko. En Enkiso. Enkiso, right? Not Enciko. Enkiso. Julio Enkiso. All right. So last season was a breakout season for him, you know, for Brighton. I know he only scored four goals, but he was really enjoyable to watch. Okay. So, you know, he, we know that. You know that 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 goal that he scored against you know Manchester City was amazing. All right, and look at his attribute of this boy. You know we can actually play him. Uh, he's right footer, right? Yeah, we can actually play him either as an inverted winger on the left hand side or as an inside forward as well because of the finishing that he have the long shots. I think this boy is gonna be uh you know uh he he's gonna be here until the end of this until the end of the series. I can assure you that I'm not gonna be selling him at all and with the with the salary that we are paying him for the next three years right 15k only per week i think it's going to be a no-brainer you know to keep him in the team all right so when we look at this we do even have you know billy gilmore in the in the team right now you know uh he can actually play as a defensive midfielder as a deep line playmaker we can play him as a roaming playmaker as well i think this is what i'll be looking to play him and we will get into the tactic in a while but if you look at these players, right, look at the value that they actually have. You know, Brighton, as you know, you know, they love to, you know, sign young players to sell them for profit in the future. I think these are the players that we will be able to develop and sell them on a high and basically, you know, just roll the money and buy more young players in this safe. All right. So Simon and Riga, he's, um, he's, okay, he's loan lister. He's not going to be out. All right, so this is one of the players that we can actually, you know, uh, use him as a squad player as well. 
All right, so he's right footed. So we'll be able to play him as an inverted winger on the right, left hand side as well. And he looks really good. You know, for a 21 years old Ivorian player. Yeah, I really, I'm really excited, you know, of the prospect of managing this club. They really do have some really, really good players. And they even have Jao Pedro that we can play him as a striker or an attacking midfielder. And he can basically, you know, just cover up all the four positions in the attacking line that I that I'll be playing, you know. As you know, we'll be using the same formation as Roberto De Zerbi. It's going to be 4-2-3-1. And Joe Pedro can actually cover up all of the position, which is going to be really, really great, guys. All right, so let's just sort out the team with the, with the highest ability player and let's have a look at them. All right, so when we look at this, you know, Taisedo, I don't think we should be having a uh, look at him because he's not going to be here anymore. All right, so we're going to have Pascal as our best player in the club. But he's already 32 years old. And his physical, if you look at this, you know, he's not fast anymore. His pace is 9. You know, his acceleration is 8. So I think, you know, uh, keeping him as a squad player, you know, coming off as a backup, I think, uh, to Jao Pedro or anyone else, right? I think it's going to be quite, quite important. All right, he can actually play as an advanced playmaker. He can play as a shadow striker as well. The only thing that I'm not really happy with, you know, his physical, especially his speed. His speed has really, really gone down. All right, so maybe, you know, bring him in you know, um, at the ending of a game, you know, maybe another 10 to 15 minutes left. I think he should be able to do a good job there. But I will be looking to sell him on. All right. I'm not sure whether he's a... Yeah, he has been with Brighton since 2017. All right. So they basically signed him in the year they got promoted to Premier League. All right. So, yeah, let's see. Let's see what future have. You know, what... what what, what is the future that holds for him? All right, so we are going to have our best left back, you know, as Tupinan, as you guys know, no, he's a really, really good player. He's wanted by a lot of <laughs> Saudi Arabia team. All right, so this is going to be a problem in, in, in Football Manager 24 as well. There's going to be a lot of, uh, you know, Arabic clubs, you know, that are going to be coming in for your players, you know. But I think if they are going to offer a, a high, you know, transfer offer and anything like that, I think it's going to work quite well for us as well. You know, we'll be able to, you know, get some good money in, you know, roll it into the best thing, you know, the next best thing, you know, for your team. But I will be starting him as a, you know, wing back in the club, you know, in this season. You know, hopefully he's not going to leave us for Arabic, you know, for, uh, you know, to, to go to Saudi Arabia. I really hope he won't do that. All right. So the next best player is going to be Mitoma. Mitoma in real life, amazing, amazing player, especially his dribbling skill is amazing. Look at this, you know, his attribute, you know, dribbling of 18. I think he can do some real damage from the left-hand side this season. And I will be starting him as our first choice left winger. All right. Okay, so like I mentioned to you guys, you know, we are going to have, you know, we are playing on the real-world mode, right? So we are going to have some future transfer already, you know, in the, you know, basically in the work right now. If you look at this, you know, we have a lot of transfer in that have, uh, uh, have actually already you know, been, uh, been arranged. And it is going to be, you know, they all of these players are going to be coming in, you know, um, on the date that they have already, you know, agreed to come upon. You know, we're going to have the likes of Igor, who can actually play as a centre-back, and he looks quite good, good as a centre-back, and he can actually cover on the left-hand side as well, which is going to be really, really great for us. All right? And we're going to have the likes of, you know, Noel Atom. I think these are all young players. You know, Jacob Slater. All right, so I think we will have a look at them when they comes into the club. All right, we're going to have the likes of, you know, Carlos Baleba that is going to be coming in as a midfielder as well. I think he's going to be the replacement for, you know, he's going to be a replacement for, you know, McAllister and Caicedo, I think. All right, he can play as a defensive midfielder as well. But I'm not sure what role I'll be playing him on. I think once he comes into the, you know, to the club, we'll be able to have a look at him and then we will be able to see what in what position we should be playing him on all right so ansu fati is also going to be joining us as you guys know you know he was a deadline signing for brighton in real life he's going to be joining us on a loan deal and i don't think there's a future fee you know uh set uh by brighton with uh, barcelona and he will be able to cover you know on the left hand side on the right hand side and as a striker as well so he can actually you know compete with uh evan ferguson you know to be as our first choice striker Okay, all right, and I'm not sure who is this guy, you know, it's going to be Louis Flower. I think uh, this is just going to be a pun for the future. 
we will have a look at him when he joins the club. All right, guys. So this is the fully custom tactic that I'll be using for this Brighton save. Let's have a look at the individual role and instruction that I've actually, you know, custom for these players. All right. So for our goalkeeper, we are going to be playing him as a sweeper keeper on defense. There's not going to be any individual instruction for this role. I just want him to be as what a sweeper keeper will do. It is as simple as that. All right. So for our right wing back, right, it's going to be a wing back on support duty. And the individual instruction, I would want him to ride wide with the ball, stay wider and mark tighter, you know, in defense. That is the only instruction that I'm going to be giving it to him. All right, so for the ball playing defender on the right hand side, it's going to be basically, you know, nothing else. You know, it's only, you know, take more risk and hold position. You know, uh, basically the main duty is going to be for him to defend. All right, so on the left hand side, you know, we are going to be adding on as a dribble more instruction so what i want this player to be doing is actually to come up here when we have the possession you know for him to come up over here you know and support us basically you know and provide some cover if we lose the possession in the midfield that is the thing that i would want this player to be doing all right um it is as simple as that all right so on the left hand side you know as you know you know we do have the player like estu pinan right and estu pinan is really really good going forward so that is the reason why I want this left wing back, you know, to be on a duty, you know, on an attacking duty. And when we when we look at the instruction, I want him to be crossing more often. Right wide, you know, run wide with the ball, stay wider and mark tighter in defense. All right. It's as simple as that. Okay, so for our deep line playmaker, right, this is what you know Brighton really do well in the real life. We want them to tackle harder and mark tighter. And right, this is the position that they really do really utilize. And you know, when, when S2 Pinan goes up, right, you know, on the attacking duty, I want this deep-lying playmaker to actually cover our defense, all right, to ensure that if we lose the possession, there is a four defense line there, as, or at least three defense line when, you know, our right, our, our, when, when our right wing back actually goes up as well. So on our right defensive midfielder position, it's going to be a Segundo Volante, and I'm just going to ask him to tackle harder and mark tighter. And, you know, uh, when we have the possession, obviously, with one, you know, playing as a Segundo Volante, you know, you know, they will, you know, basically come up and, you know, uh, yeah, just, 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 just create a pocket on the right-hand side as well, where they will basically support our front four. Okay, so on the left-hand side, you know, especially, most probably, we're going to be playing Mitoma, the likes of Ansu Fati there as well. You know, we, we, we won't have Engiso, you know, on the left-hand side. I want them to be passing it shorter, sit narrower, basically sit narrower. They will be, you know, uh, utilizing this pocket here, especially when S2 Pinan comes up, you know, and on the attacking duty over here. All right, so this is what I will be, yeah, I'll be wanting them to do. Okay, so I know it's getting a little bit messed up over here. Later on, I will change it back again. All right, so that is what I want our, you know, our inside forward on the left-hand side to be doing. You know, either, either coming up here or over here as well, you know, to, 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 to basically provide cover to Ivan and Evan Ferguson or Joe Pedro in the penalty box. Okay, so that is what I'll be wanting them to do. All right, so our advanced playmaker over here, right? This is going to be a very, very crucial, you know, uh, way of how, how we are going to be playing, especially when we are attacking. Look at this. When we have the possession, right? I would want him to go further forward, move into channels, you know, get, get into the penalty box. You know, uh, provide cover to Ivan Ferguson. You know, basically, you know, uh, basically, you know, just uh, just create problem to the opposition defense with the numbers that we have. You know, I do want them to tackle harder as well because we are going to be playing with a higher press. I want them to win possession. I want this guy to be winning possession for us in the final third. Okay, roam from position. So basically, he's going to have, he, he, he basically going to have, you know, uh, the freedom to be roaming you know, on in, in this area and even providing cover for our midfielders as well. So hopefully that is what they will be doing. <laughs> All right. And yeah, that is the that is the thing that I want our camp to be doing, you know, our central attacking midfielder to be doing. On the right hand side, it's going to be our inverted winger. Same thing, you know, pass it shorter, sit narrower, you know, um, you know, support, support our our attacking midfielder, you know, and even, you know, uh providing some space for our for our you know wing back to run through you know and to cross some balls for us as well there okay and for our pressing forward it's going to be very very easy just pass it shorter that is the only thing we want them to do all right okay close down more obviously because we are playing with a 
you know because we are playing with a high press role pressing forward is amazing in football manager as you guys know move into channel when we are attacking and tackle harder as what we do you know in this possession okay so in possession what we are going to be doing our attacking with we are going to be playing with a fairly narrow if you look at this you know uh with me you know uh putting the instruction for our left and right winger to be sitting in narrower okay so you know to provide space for an overlap on the left and the right hand side for our wing backs to be running over there and you know and providing you know uh providing you know crosses for us as well and focus the play through the middle as well because we have a deep lying playmaker there you know that can actually create some chances for us play out of the defense our passing directness is going to be shorter okay so we are going to be playing with a shorter passing you know trying to control the possession as much as we can and the tempo is going to be higher we are going to work the ball into the box because we are going to have four attacking players you know trying to get into the channel into the penalty box and so that is the reason why we want them to work the ball into the box and be more expressive we want all of our players you know to yeah, to basically play their game <laughs> right so in transition right what we want to do when we lose the possession we are going to be counter pressing as we told you you know as i told you we are going to be playing with a higher press so we are going to be counter pressing try to win the possession as soon as we can this is what brighton does well you know they they lose the possession they will really press really really high and they win the possession in really really good position okay so when we have won the possession obviously we are going to be counter attacking if you look at this you know our wing backs will be providing support they will go up further okay and try to create some better chances you know in the final third okay so the the goalkeeper will be distributing it to the center backs not to the full backs only to the center backs that is what our one want it to be doing and take short kicks for the goalkeeper all right so out of possession we are going to be playing with a high press like i told you guys you know with a higher defensive line as well and we are going to playing with a trap inside pressing trap okay so this is what brighton do really well you know they basically you know they will trap you know the attacking you know to play narrower and utilize the defense that we have you know we have two ball playing defender we have a deep lying playmaker that is going to be on defense and we want them to you know get into the channel uh get into the channel so that we can stop their attacking that is what i would want our team to be playing as you know this tactic right, i really think that we are going to be able to dominate possession more and when we win the possession you know we will have a higher chance of you know uh, counter attacking efficiently i would say you know efficiently and hopefully we'll be able to be defensively solid as well at the same time all right since this is the first episode obviously you guys will be you know looking forward to watch a game play here today to watch a match you know to 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 look at the new match engine that we have in fm24 all right so what am i going to do is i'm going to play through and i will be back in the 12th of august for our first game in the premier league against newcastle by the way as you know you know we have a very very good finance over here if you look at this if you know we have a transfer budget of 80 million but our which budget is not really that great so you know obviously uh, we will be able to yeah just make some budget adjustment we can just uh, play around with the wage budget and the transfer budget but you know to make things challenging right because the which uh you know we have a very healthy transfer budget it's going to be very easy i can just i can just buy a lot of players that can actually strengthen our team you know to make it you know to basically make them a very very solid team that can actually help us to you know a challenge for the title this season which is what i don't want it to be i want it to be a little bit more challenging so i am not going to be signing any new player until the january transfer window so there's not going to be any new transfer in you know for us you know to be talking about you know in our first game later on so you know we are going to be playing with the team that we have on our hand and i think you know since the first game is going to be on the 12th of august i think we're going to have taisedo to be playing with us as well uh, we're not going to have ansu fati you know and yeah let's see what we can do with the team that we have until the until the january transfer windows comes in that's when you know we will know which are the real weakness that we have in the team and what can we do with our transfer budget that we have right now the preseason is over and it is time for our first premier league match against newcastle united and this is the team that i'm going to be fielding against them it's going to be jason still in goal our four defenders is going to be estopinan luis dang webster and wellman Kaisedo and Mahmoud Dahoud will be playing alongside each other as our two defensive midfielder Mitoma, Adam Lallana, Soli Marsh will be behind Evan Ferguson. The reason I'm starting Adam Lallana here is because Pascal and Joao Pedro is actually injured. Pascal is going to be out for another 3 more months. 
he's going to be back maybe in the in the month of november i hope uh hopefully if he can recover earlier it's going to be in the month of october and jao pedro is going to be out for another 12 more days so hopefully in the next episode we will be seeing him all right so yeah we will have to rely upon adam lana here today to create some good chances and then as you know you know move into the pocket and create some problem to the opposition defenders all right let's just submit the team and get into our first match in football manager 24 all right so let's have a look at this you know the 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 you know the sound is still on so later on i'll just uh, off it you know i forgot to change it in the setting just now all right okay so basically there's not much difference in the you know in the basically in the intro video to a to a match over here we are going to be playing in our home stadium here today against newcastle our first match and hopefully it's going to be a victory all the three points against this new castle team all right so before that you know let's have a change in our camera okay the the camera is going to be tv the camera height i'm going to make it the lowest and the zoom to be the highest okay so when i look at this you know i think uh, yeah the sounds is going to be off the music is going to be off as well the match speed during uh, you know what the highlights is going to be in key highlights the match speed is going to be a little bit higher here and the replay camera yeah the replay camera sh- can be can be for you know director all right so let's have our kick off highlight here i think you know due to it being you know the extended highlight just now this might not lead into a goal if we can lead to a goal it's going to be really really great and now the possession is with wellman here wellman back to webster webster taking his time passing it to the who the who trying to play a long ball to evan ferguson it is intercepted by newcastle's goalkeeper here All right, so now Newcastle is going to have a free kick, Trippier, and that was a good save by Steele, and we are going to have a corner to defend over here. Now Trippier is going to be taking the corner for Newcastle. What is he going to be doing? Is he going to be looking for the near post corner? He tried to look for a far post corner, and it is headed clear by our defenders. And Estupinan lost the possession to Almiron, and now Lasalle for Newcastle. Trippier on the right hand side, and the highlight just ended. I'm not sure what that highlight was, but. It is football manager twenty four. <laughs> All right, guys. It is the twentieth minute of the game, and we have a throw in here. Wellman now to Soli Marsh, Casado, I say do to Soli Marsh in the penalty box, but that was an awful shot by him. That could have been a chance for us to get into the lead, but it was an awful shot by Marsh there. And now Dubravka for Newcastle with a goal kick to Swen Botman. Botman taking his time to met target. Oh, I really thought that you know uh, Marsh was going to win the possession there, but they Still have the possession now. Bans to Jolinton, Jolinton to Almiron. He's carrying a little bit of a knock there, but it's not stopping him from getting into the penalty box. And Jolinton had a golden chance to get Newcastle into the lead there, but he could not keep the shot on target. You know what? I'm going to demand more here. It's going to be our first demand more shout in the FM24. And now Adam Lallana to Estupinan, Caicedo back to Adam Lallana. Okay, what is he going to be doing? He tried to look for a cross to Soli Marsh, but it was headed clear by Newcastle's defender. But we won back the possession now. Wellman to Marsh, Marsh to Wellman. He have a lot of green space to run there, and he found Adam Lallana. Adam Lallana, who I was telling you guys that I was not sure. You know, I had to start him because of the injury to Pascal and Joao Pedro. He gave us a lead and scored our first goal in Football Manager 24. Look at that! You know that that cross by Wellman, right? Oh my God! Evan Ferguson was in an offside position. You know he knew that he just let the ball run, and Adam Lana got into the loose ball, and he gave us a lead. The scoreline is one nil in the minute thirty five. All right, guys. So the first half scoreline is going to be one nil, and we are playing really, really well. If you look at this, I know we are not you know controlling the possession, but we are creating chances with the little possession that we have. Two shots on target and XG of one point two eight, and it is amazing. All right, so I'm gonna tell the team. I'm not gonna tell that they, you know, I'm happy or anything. I don't want them to get complacent. I'm gonna tell them, you know, they're doing well. Ask them to take charge in the second half. But there was no reaction from the team. All right, so I'm not sure whether it was gonna be a positive reaction or negative. It was basically just a balanced reaction. They did not react to anything. Mitoma lost the possession. Now Alexander is up. Oh my God! He saw that Steel was actually out of the possession, you know, out of his position. He tried to shoot from outside, you know, from a far apart. But Steel, he got into the ball, and we have considered a corner here. Now, trying to look for Lasalle, headed clear by our defender, but Jolinton running towards the ball, he got into the loose ball before our player. Now Jolinton playing it long on the left hand side to Trippier. Botman 
lost the possession or what. I'm not sure the highlight just ended. Seriously? Okay, it's going to be a throw-in here. Matt Target playing it long to long stuff. Now, Barnes. Okay, Mitoma intercepted the possession. We have the possession now. Kaisedo lost the possession to long stuff. Now, Guemeres to Botman. Botman playing it to Barnes on the left-hand side. Oh my god, Bruno, Bruno now to Matt Target, Marsh. By the way, you know, the match engine looks really, really good. You know, it is a little bit more smoother if you have a look at the, you know, if you look at the highlight and there's been uh, different movements between the team, uh, you know, between the players, if you know. You know, if, we have, if you have been playing Football Manager 23, right, this Football Manager 24 has actually been a little bit different. You know, I, I, I feel like the gameplay is a little bit more smoother. There's different movements from the team, different types of passing and all. Okay, now Lelana trying to look for Estupinan in the penalty box, but Luis Dung! Oh my god, I really thought Luis Dung got into the header, but Evan Ferguson got into the loose ball there, and he makes it 2-0 for us. If you look at this, you know, our players are actually quite tired, especially Evan Ferguson, you know. He is quite tired, so I think since we are already, you know, leading the, leading the game by two goals, right, I think I will be taking him off right now. Okay, so now when we look at this, you know, uh, Evan Ferguson is tired. Yeah, he's really tired. You know, he scored a goal. That is great. But I don't want him to get injured. You know, so we are going to begin Adringa. Adringa cannot play as a pressing forward, but I think he can play as an advanced forward. Yeah. So I'm going to be playing him as an advanced forward there on attack. And let's see who we should bring on. Uh, Dahoud is not playing well, so I'm going to bring in Billy Gilmore for him. And Mituma is also on a 6.6. .6. He's tired as well. I'm going to bring in Enkiso for Mituma there. Alright. Um, yeah, I think these are the three changes that I'll be doing it right now. I don't want to make a lot of changes and basically just ruin the ruin, ruin the momentum that the team currently have right now. Okay, I'm not going to make any shouts or anything like that. And now we have a throw-in for Newcastle. Target, trying to look for Barnes that intercepted by Wellman. Now we have a chance for a counter-attack. But it was intercepted by Bodman. That was a... Yeah, that was a very... Not good pass by Lelana there. Now Botman playing it backward to Dubrauka. Trippier on the right hand side. He is just controlling the possession very well now. Anthony Gordon back to Trippier. LaSalle to Longstaff. Trippier. They are playing it a very good passing but we are pressing them quite well as well. If you have a look at this, you know. Whenever any of the possession, you know, uh, any of their player actually has the possession, right? Our player will actually try to mark them, try to press them. To, to basically force them into making a mistake there. Now, still. Okay, it's going to be a corner here for Newcastle. Can we keep a clean sheet in our first game? As the manager of Brighton, LaSalle almost scored a great goal there to give Newcastle, you know, a way into the game. But he just could not keep his header on target. Taisedo is also tired right now. You know what? I'm going to take him off for James Milner. And now, S2 Pinan is on a 6.6. .6, so, let's bring in Igor. Igor can actually play as a left wing back as well. So I'm going to be doing that. You know, he can actually, he's a left footed player. So let's play him as a wing back. So we have done all of the five subs and game on right now. Now, Wellman with a throw in. He's going to be throwing it short to Adringa. Adringa now to Sholly Marsh. Adringa in the penalty box. He have a space for a shot there, but he just could not keep it down. Oh my god, that was a chance to make it 3 nil. But to be honest, you know, 2 nil is also a very, very good start as our manager career, you know, in this Brighton team right now. Okay, now Wellman playing it to Marsh. Marsh playing it to James Milner. Now Lelana! <laughs> His shot actually hits the post. That was a golden opportunity to make it 3. And that could have been his second goal in this match, you know. Oh! Oh my god, that was a good play by Gilmore. No, Gilmore got into the penalty box. He he basically just played a pass there. You know, I, I, Adringa couldn't get into the ball, but Enkiso got into it and he makes it 3 nil. If you look at this, Gilmore from, from basically, you know, middle of the pitch, he ran inside the penalty box, he dribbled past the defender. He tried to look for Adringa, but, uh, you know, Adringa was actually tackled by Joel Linton, but Enkiso, he was unmarked in the far post. He got into the loose ball and he makes it 3-0. Look at this. Oh, no one marked him, you know. I think they were just focused on Adringa. They really thought we were going to play the pass on Adringa, but we have made it 3-0.
that is a great start into our football manager you know career as a as the manager of Brighton here three nil victory against Newcastle and I am ecstatic guys great first game against Newcastle and tomorrow we are going to be back for our first Europa League match I'm not sure who we are going to be facing yet but we are going to be back because it's going to be an important milestone for this club you know Brighton have never ever played in any European competition so the first game is going to be very very important and tomorrow we are going to be talking about the squad depth and the new edition set piece creator of football manager 24 i didn't want this you know this episode to be too long that was the reason and tomorrow we will be discussing that so if you don't want to miss that click on the subscribe button click on the notification bell and join me tomorrow as we continue our journey as the brightest manager thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys tomorrow Bye bye